Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Mr. Fox Owen and this video I want to talk about the importance of balance in my life and my journey and why it is so important for all of us. It's a crucial element for every single person. Balance is the wisdom of nature. Balance is the wisdom of the universe. So too much or too little of anything it doesn't turn out to be optimal for us so um, the, 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 the wise person will look to seek balance and harmony and enjoyment and everything the sage, the cleric, the, the priest the holy warrior or spiritual s <laughs> sincerely all animals listen to their body so listening to your body and finding balance so for me in my life it's come in the form of like don't take too much detoxing powders don't focus on detoxification too much and um, don't exercise too much uh, listen to when you need a rest good morning Dean and listen to when you need to take a break or slow down it's very important but similarly everybody there's a lot of people who are sedentary and don't do any exercise or enough exercise or they don't have enough fun and they're working too much or they're just playing around too much and not having enough contribution so it's utmost important for us to follow our calling because that's what creates the most this unhappiness in our own life and dissatisfaction it's when we have a calling because we've experienced so many things and life calls us and we don't follow the calling the urge the impulse to be and to express who we are that's what causes the most dissatisfaction and unhappiness in life so always seek to listen to your body and find balance okay so there's a balance between like health physical health physical health socializing so i'm a flexible fruitarian basically speaking okay so when i go out i have like a vegan chai latte or i have a vegan hot chocolate and that doesn't make any difference to me because it's so easy to digest anyway who gives a shit so many people are so fucking anal I, i'm just i like using these words everyone because it expresses a feeling that I have felt in the past and I see <clears throat> so many people feeling, you know, <clears throat> become so serious in life. My God, there's a balance between fucking seriousness and having some lighthearted fun, everyone. I'm a huge proponent of having fun and lightheartedness of being and happiness. Like, what are you, what are you going to live for? Everyone? You're going to die in another few decades or less. And so are your loved ones. So do you want to like get serious in the meantime and have no fun? Of course you don't. Have some fucking fun. Pana says good morning. And Alex sends sparkles and namaste is my way. Hello both of you and everyone else. Lots of love and thanks for watching. So everyone, it's all about balance and listening to your body. So get healthy, get fit, get strong. You use the blessing of your body and like do what you love and like in life. And look at the areas which you're abandoning or neglecting stuff. But only look there and fix it. But do not focus and dwell in a sense of criticism or negativity there. It's okay. We're all doing our best. Life is challenging and that's okay. It's okay as challenging. And we don't have everything we want and that's okay too. But it's essential to focus on what we want instead of the absence of what we want. So for example... This is tied in a balance to a degree also. Like everything is like a stick. There's two ends to it. Okay, we want, let's say, a soulmate relationship. We want great health, okay? What we usually focus on is the glaring, obvious absence of it in our life if we don't have it, okay? But that's not the vibrational place in which we can allow in and accept or attract the good health or the, the soulmate or the relationship into our life that we really want. Through all of our sifting and sorting and experiences of life, we have developed in our higher self vibrational field awareness what we want and desire deep down in our heart and deep down in our being. We know what we want, but humans, us, us silly humans, we keep getting in the way of it, okay? Because we keep focusing on the absence and then we don't, we're just not in alignment with our higher self. So when we connect the source and make that our, our number one primary goal, connecting with our happy, joyful truth, our higher self, how, how our higher self sees things, 
which is playfulness, lightness, love, laughter, gratitude, appreciation, and focusing on what we have, um, in, and, and, and making the most and highlighting the good things in life and the memories and the imagination of the future. When we see the best, remember the best, expect the best, think the best. This is a, a brilliant balance. I'm kind of fitting this into this video about balance because it's just so important to learn everyone. Um, we will be able to in receive inspired actions which would allow to f physically allow in our and track these things that are truly in our heart's desires, such as the job that we want, the career, the calling, the purpose, the soulmate, um, the wonderful physical body. So we just keep focusing on the vision, everyone, of the having. So if you want a really fit, healthy, strong body, focus and imagine in your eye the image of how you'd feel and look like having this. Same with the soulmate relationship. Think, feel, and imagine how it feels and what it looks like. Don't be specific with the exact person. Let the universe bring the person to you. But you just focus on the feeling and the image and, and, and get happy in your life right now. Because the source that you are isn't a being of lack. It doesn't live in a sense of lack and what's focusing on what's absence in your life, okay? It focuses on everything you have and the abundance that you have and all the blessings that you have and it feels grateful for the blessings and the happiness and the joy of other people it promotes loves nurtures and builds up like a divine mat and feminine okay it does that for other people so it doesn't get like it doesn't focus on envy envy is focusing envy is looking at what someone else has that you want and focusing the fact that you don't have it that's that end of the stick Focus on what you have. Pick 10 things. Pick 10 things that you have in life. Pick 10 favorite memories you have of your last bre hard breakup of a relationship. T pick the t your 10 favorite memories. Focus on those. Don't focus on the bloody what they didn't do and how they failed to live up to your expectations. That's, 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 that's off alignment thinking. So play with life, have fun, play around with your thoughts, play around with your memories, play around with your focusing. Have fun and play with your imagining, envisioning the future. What you focus on expands, what you think about you bring about, what you imagine you can manifest and create. And I, I love these quotations, they're so dear to me, like they're just meaningful and they, I know them now. So balance, I am, um, balance, balance, balance. Anyone got any questions on balance? Um, just remember, seek balance. Know when to start, know when to speed up, know when to stop and know when to slow down. Know when to take a break, know when to switch things around. Don't become too strict or serious in a regime, like the same thing every single day. That's sort of not very intuitive. Listen to your body, be intuitive. And your, your higher self, your intuition does know the answer, everyone. Don't worry. So. Every day we wake up and it's a new day and we begin anew with a new fresh vibration. We've let go during sleep of the focusing on the unwanted. We wake up feeling better. So now is a new day to start the momentum of the, and keep forward a higher energy into the new day. So stuff like a quiet walk or a mindful meditation or sitting down in a 5 to 10 minute meditation or more can be extremely helpful for allowing us to quieten down enough to receive inspired thoughts a flow of inspiration okay so meditation can be very helpful this way and then from this place we can also start to think and direct energy into the into our dreams and visions of what we want not what we don't want as i explained so it's not too complicated everyone it's not too difficult we can all do this and then we can all be gentle on ourselves and each other it's finding soothing gentle thoughts on ourselves just a little bit better than before, that's all. And we will make great progress. And I totally believe in you. And I know the wor I know there's so many good things coming your way, like truly and utterly. And like I'm excited to find out what the future holds for me and for you, you know? So So be the the objective is to enjoy life and appreciate it and now, not for when we're waiting for what we want to come. Because we already have lots 
So tune into the feeling of already having what you want, your desires. Don't live from the space of reality, like now, noticing its absence, because vibrationally it's there for you if you can just allow it in and stop getting in the way. And we are doing this little by little, everyone, like described in this video. It's, it's simpler and easier than we think. It's just a practice. Um. Okay, so Alex, Andrea is saying, um, okay, so you've slipped into a pattern of negative thought, Alex, Andrea. That's okay. So then you just simply pick a new sentence, a few new words for yourself, like, okay, I've been, been sort of negative. I've been a bit sloppy in my thinking that's okay i've noticed that and now i'm going forward i could i could have a shower or a bath have a nap go for a walk or meditate for a few minutes or simply start picking more selective thinking such as okay i did that now it's new i'm going forward in a new more positive light things aren't as bad as i'm making out and that's just my old conditioned pattern ha 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 so we can all let go we don't have to beat ourselves up for getting into sloppy thinking habits, everyone. We all get into sloppy thinking habits sometimes. That's normal. That's like part of the, what we've experienced being human so far. There's nothing wrong with getting into sloppy thinking like self-criticism, blaming or shaming. It's the power when we recognize and see this. That's beautiful. That's powerful, Alexandra and everybody. So we can let go of, of, of beating ourselves up or the sloppy thinking. We all do sloppy thinking. It's okay. So it's just a matter of refocusing on the presence of what's, co what's coming and what's present vibrationally and what's also present physically in the blessings of our life. So yeah, yeah. It's as simple as that. It's as, it's as, it's as okay as that. And every day is a new day and each sleep subsides the negative momentum of thinking that we used to have. Every shower with essential oil and baths and Epsom salts and um, baking soda helps me beautifully to relax. And we are all loving beings. We are all, when we're all connected to the truth of who we are, our source, we're all so beautiful. Thanks, Pane, for saying I'm beautiful. That's nice for you to see and that's your aligned state for seeing that. Because <laughs> not everyone thinks the same, you know? We all see depending on how aligned we are. So when one person is angry or upset with you, they're just a not, not in alignment. So then it's our job to see how, if they can trigger us out of our alignment. The objective of life is to follow your dreams and allow them in, your desires that come, and they're always new desires. That's exciting to experience and to create and to allow in new experiences that we want. And the other thing is to stop putting our happiness and dependence our happiness, stop putting it on other people. Allow other people to not be the cause of our unhappiness. And that's a bit of a challenge because we've hooked into wired into making this in this lifetime. We've been conditioned to make everybody the source of our happiness or unhappiness in this life. Okay, everyone, have fun with this, play with it, be, have fun, be gentle on yourself. Don't be too serious, okay? Just, in any moment, just think a better way of seeing it. That's all, really. That's the simplest way of putting it. An improved vibrational thought. More in alignment with your truth and your source. And then you're just going to keep feeling and making better decisions for yourself in life from a more inspired place and from a more heart-centered place. And it's just going to become better and easier, little by little. Don't worry about that. Everything is a lesson or a blessing. A blessing. A lesson or a blessing. Life is short, everyone, so... Make the most of it. And carpe diem. Okay. Sandy says, thanks, Owen. Have a great day. Have a great day, everyone. Lots of love. And uh, I'll see you again soon. And um, I look forward to seeing you again in another live video. Hope this video helped and it's been enjoyable for me to share. I've enjoyed it. Thanks.